Hello again everybody, I'm John Riddle with another tutorial. And today we're going to show you how to use OBS Studio. Now this is a powerful open source software. It's used for recording and screaming. And you can use it on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. And it's absolutely free without any watermarks on it. So settle back, relax, and I'm going to show you how to use it right now. When you open OBS for the first time, the Auto Configuration Wizard will help you set the best options based on your usage and network speed. You can retrieve this anytime from the Tools menu. The main interface shows the OBS canvas, displaying the content you will record or scream. At the bottom, you get the scenes, which are collections of audio, image, or video sources placed and customized as you like. Anything you set on OBS is automatically saved for the next time you open the software. By default, OBS detects your system's default audio sources, such as your microphone and system audio, that you can customize by opening their properties. To create a new scene, click the plus button of the scene section and give it a name. This comes empty, so you can add visual content by going to the plus button in the Sources section. Audio sources are already active from the Audio Mixer panel, regardless of the scene you had selected. Add Display Capture to show your entire desktop screen and interact with it. If its screen size does not match the canvas size, you might see black stripes around the edges indicating that part of the screen content will be cut. To fix this, go to Settings in the bottom right corner and then to Video to adjust the canvas size and match your screen size. At this point, check your canvas by selecting Scale to Window on the left. If strips are still present, select the Display Capture Source and use Ctrl or Command and F to match the source with your canvas size. This screen source may show a mirror effect as you are showing the OBS interface, which is representing the content of your screen and vice versa. This effect will not occur as long as you do not record or screen the OBS interface directly. If the screen source remains black in Windows, make sure to check our video description to resolve it. Add a window capture to select and show the content of a specific application or browser, as long as it is not minimized. Make sure to enable Capture Cursor to show your cursor on it. This source works best if you extend the application to full screen and may show nothing if you minimize the application. Add Game Capture to show a running gain in a more optimized and lighter setup than Window Capture. This can automatically start capturing when the game goes into full screen mode or when this is selected in the background. Keep in mind that Game Capture is only available on Windows. To add a webcam source, use Video Capture Device. For all these visual sources, OBS takes audio from the sources listed on Audio Mixer by default. Desktop audio captures all system and application sounds, with the decibel meter showing the volume level and a sidebar to adjust it if needed. If you prefer to use custom audio sources for each scene, mute all the default sources on Audio Mixer and add audio input capture to connect a microphone or audio output capture to include speakers or audio drivers. Despite belonging to the scene, these audio sources are always listed on the audio mixer. If you get issues with audio on a Mac, check the video description. To manage any source in OBS Studio, Click on it to select it and highlight it on the canvas within a red border. Click and drag the source to place it. 
and drag from the nodes to resize it, avoiding black stripes. Hold the Alt or the Option key to crop the source with cropped edges shown with dashed green lines. Hold the Shift key to resize freely without saving the original aspect ratio. In the Sources list, use the eye icon to hide or show any source and the lock button to prevent modifications. You can also drag sources up or down to adjust their order of visibility on the canvas. Above, you can adjust properties or apply filters to the selected source. Filters collect audio and visual effects, including chroma key for green screens. You can add several elements within the OBS interface. With color source, you can import a plain colored background. With image, you can add an image, for example, your own logo watermark. Use text to include pieces of text with custom font, size, color, and opacity. And image slideshow to show a collection of images by providing its folder. With Media Source, you can also show a video file given its file path. Before recording or streaming, check the OBS options from Settings in the bottom right corner. On Stream, connect a streaming account such as Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook. On Output, Set your video and audio bitrate for streaming. In four recordings, fix the saved location, quality, and file format. On video, adjust the canvas size as base resolution and the video output size for recordings and streams as output resolution. Below, set the FPS for the video smoothness up to 60 frames per second. On hotkeys, assign shortcuts for quick actions like starting or stopping streaming and recording without opening the OBS interface. To start or stop recording in OBS Studio, use the buttons in the bottom right corner or your own shortcuts. The recording shows the content of your OBS canvas even if OBS is minimized. You can locate your recordings from File, Show Recordings. If you launch a live stream, content is shown on the connected streaming account and saved there. You can enable studio mode from the bottom right corner for more advanced control. This shows the preview window on the left where you edit and adjust the elements on your canvas and the program window on the right, which is what is being recorded or streamed. When your modifications are finished on the left, you can push the content to the program window by clicking on any of the transitions available. These can be prepared and edited with the plus button next to quick transitions.